Hey, just give me a minute here. I have to shift this around. There we are. Long day for me. It's about 8 o'clock at night. And uh, I started at 5 this morning, so I did have about an hour and a half sleep. I'm gonna, so this will be number 8, I think. YouTube upload for the Eden Project for this building, this uh, cold shelter. I call it the uh, bunker build system. So I'm just going to change this. <coughs> this is going to be a mantle. When I set up there, my uh, sound system died. So I'm going to bring my uh, big screen in. Put, a, put this here on there, make a box. I'll set it in place, then I'll make a, a lid for it. The plants are loving it. I got... Uh, Found some fencing that I could use this here, this this trellis. It's gonna go there and there, I think. And do the job. And I can end up making another little uh herb garden probably in there. This is the first pour. I try throwing stone on top and just tapping it down with the with the mag and uh kind of an old-fashioned look this here i made sure all the rocks are buried then it blasted off the the surface here i had to use high pressure up so i was probably a little bit too late on that but it worked out and uh so it's coming about two-thirds done this is the stairs I made out of the scrap, and uh, there's going to be enough material to make a, a loft area here. I have to make sure that it's high enough for a fridge, so I can get a double light in there. So I'll probably go, uh, so yeah, six foot. I probably. Put the floor right across the header and kind of shorten the top but I need that space in the bottom and I could do the same thing here around the corner and uh, have full usable space I'll be able to get maybe almost a 24 22 inch uh, wall system here that's going to be one two, three, every 16 inches. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, five shells, six shells, and a fridge and all that in the back. And the, the bottom's gonna be, I need to build a five gallon pump, a pail, a hole, and that's gonna be the sump. And uh, you know, when I pour the concrete, I guess I'm gonna have to I may have to dig down. I may have to dig down. There's a bit below, so it's, you know, it comes up to the... Uh, I have to dig down a little bit. The floor will come even to the outside of the 2 by 2 by 6 plate down there, so it's coming. Next time through when I do this, it's going to be much easier. Instead of slip forming or slip casting, I'll just get all the forms and set them up okay the last innovation here transitioning to Eden project 2 that's the geodome and the uh, Lord said spoke to me yesterday to just cast a circle around this box uh, 16 inches out uh, from the corner so you come 16 inches out and that's where you you know you take come off on a diagonal on your corner and you take your measurement I'm going to take a piece of plywood. I should be able to uh, put that on there to draw the circle. I might be able to replicate it. So that's going to come out. Uh, it's probably going to come out to be about here or something like that. And uh, that way I'm going to have the, the pattern for the ring. The cement ring. So I'll probably... Uh, framing in on the top, you know, coming out. 
plate in the back coming out like this and be raised off the ground. The bottom would be tied with steel and exposed wood on the top and just the edging might be a little bit of a problem but that way I can do one section at a time. Then once you have that then I can uh, that's just a foundation ring, ring just to take take the weight and uh, it's gonna have to be really secured and this part here uh, around this here I'm gonna cast another ring but it's gonna be tight I probably uh, how would that work I'm just seeing something I didn't see before Okay, that's all right, I think. Did I mess up? Okay, that's the cast in place, and then the form goes over here, so. So I'm probably gonna have to <coughs> bring the 16 inch uh, pony wall, which is gonna be cement, as tight as I can get it, <coughs> then lots of, lots of rebar. Lots of this. That's where you get to use up your scrap. So that'd be a solid ring that I, I should be able to walk on like this. And uh, it's not too big enough to, to where it's going to interfere with these rocks. So once I got the, the vertical coming off of this, then I can actually, you know, probably go up a foot and go over a couple of feet. Then there'd be, that's going to be my base pad. <clears throat> then I can form up the wall for the uh, support wall for the two geodomes. So this is a, a food for uh, abundance program. In order to put it in my heart uh, last week of January and uh, it kept me up all night. I, I couldn't sleep. I was under the burden of the Lord, and the Lord put it in my heart, saying, uh, you need to think about preserving food. And I was, was not, I was not a happy camper. I, uh, you know, I was going through uh, 40 days stretched out on uh, not taking, having to take uh, antibiotics and all that. I got 40, 40 days pregnant zone free and antibiotics free. Then I got walloped. But anyway, uh, the last week of January, the, the Lord, I felt, I felt his, uh, I only heard, but I felt the tone of his voice and, and the intensity to uh, begin to be obedient as far as making this, starting to make, prepare for, for uh, to preserve food but I wasn't in the best shape and uh, I started working an hour and a half a couple hours a day I probably went on for a month maybe I started building up time worked in February the last week of January worked February and into March and uh, so by that time I was doing pretty good you know five hour days and when I started on the CBD oil a month ago, it's really kicked things into high gear. Like I'm putting, I shouldn't be putting 10, 11 hours a day in and being able to maintain, but the Lord's given me, uh, all I can say is, whatever it is, I can blame God for that, right? It's like uh, my youth is being re renewed. and You knew how I was a month, month ago, a couple months ago. I was not, you know, had one foot in the grave. Anyway, uh, God is good. He, he shows me, and I just come to the end of something that he shows me. Just come to the end. Then he shows me the next step. You know, this, this has been continuous now for a couple of weeks. Just knowing what to do in the spirit. It gives you a project or whatever or a download. It could be like a stages. You know, you're working on a project. You don't know what the next stage is. 
You just trust in the Lord, right? That's how this came together. The staircase is going to look wonderful. And they're going to have to merge. Uh, bring bring these stairs. Uh, it's going to have to go to the top. Unless they bring it in on the uh, base. I can bring it below the below the well, I have to see. I, I would have to uh, make a little pattern to know what you know if I was going to cut through this, make that kind of patterns because it's going to be coming out like this. Your base plate, your ring, then it's going to go up 12 inches. It's going to go over 24 inches or, or whatever. So this is going to be the top of your your floor, and underneath. In a one foot cavity, or it could be a 16 inch cavity, it's going to be your uh, uh, sand, sand battery. That's a fairly new concept. Concept. Then around, then there's going to be on that uh, foundation ring that it's going to go all the way up and it's going to hide this box here. I could use this. Box is a cold air return, I'm not sure yet. But when you got the Holy Spirit guiding you, your hands and showing you what to do as far as carpentry and designing and creating, that's that's wonderful. That's that's such a and it seems like these gifts have been, I think for the most part, they've been dormant. And the Lord's waking up the gifts, right? Because he's, he's put that in you when you when we first when we first came to the earth to come to this time frame, right? To uh, to rise up and do battle. You know, that's the time we're coming into. So it's time to, for the man child to rise up and do battle and uh, to make the journey back to the Father's house, which would take three and a half years. The journey back to the Father's house, the closer they get, the more that you shine, the more that you're transformed and being transformed, translated into his image. And uh, that's what allows you to possess the kingdom. Anyway, uh, I'm going to sign off here and uh, get busy on this mantle. We'll at least get that done. It's going to be nice to be able to watch the big screen. And all I have to do is open it up. And I'll probably use the same thing to put my uh, whiteboard on. I would have to make a like a pedestal where I would get up and I could set up the you know the camera over here and uh, I think I think that's gonna work good okay gonna leave it here God bless you all this is a video upload for YouTube think number eight I just haven't had time to go work on the videos and uh, yeah gonna leave it here